Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's Bella here. In today's tutorial, I created this copper glitter double cut crease using the Lunar Beauty Life's a Drag palette. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, then just keep on watching. And if you want to be entered in this month's giveaway, make sure that you like this video, you have your post notifications turned on, and you're subscribed to our channel, and then make sure you comment done afterwards. So the first thing that I did was I grabbed my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer and I used this as my eyeshadow primer so I just applied that all over my eyelid and then I went in with a damp beauty sponge to blend it out and then I set it with some translucent powder just to make blending eyeshadows a lot easier. The first eyeshadow that I went in with is the shade Campy, which is this beautiful matte yellow shade. And I just put that in my crease, going in back and forth motions as my transition shade. I wasn't too precise with this eyeshadow because we're going to go in with deeper shades to really add definition. So this was just kind of to give a little bit of a wash in the crease. Next, I went in with the shade Kai Kai, which is this beautiful matte pink shade. And I grabbed a defined angled brush and I just started to create my crease uh, a little bit above where my actual crease is. And I just went in back and forth motions and then I went right back into that shade Campy and that same fluffy brush just to really blend out that line and make sure that there is no harsh edges. Then I went into the shade Snatched. And I took an even smaller defined brush and I just put that in my crease directly over where we applied the Kai Kai shadow. But don't worry, we're going to blend it out right after. So I went back in with Kai Kai and Campy mixed together and I just went over that line. And I just went in back and forth motions and little circular motions just to make sure that it is nice and blended. And by layering the eyeshadows, going from lightest to darkest, and then going back into the light shades, that's how you're going to get the most blended look. And then I went in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick, and I used the lightest shade that I had, which is this whitish shade. And I just put that all over my lid to really clean up the lid space. And then I went in with some translucent powder directly after, and this step is super important because we are going to be adding more eyeshadow to the lid and you do not want it to look messy so by really setting that concealer it's going to make sure that the eyeshadows apply nice and blended so we're going back into the shade snatched and i'm starting to create a line again um, and as you can see i'm leaving the same amount of distance from the inner corner to the outer corner in between where the line is and the crease is so I'm just going in back and forth motions making sure that we have a clean line and then I went in with the dose of colors set the tone cream matte eye color in the shade light my fire and it doesn't have glitter in it it just has a little bit of flex of glitter from my previous look but don't worry we're gonna actually cover that up but I just wanted to add a base before we go in with the glitter and for glitter I used my copperella glitter from violet boss and I used my nyx glitter primer to glue that glitter down and I just applied that directly over that cream product and I really love how this looks and then for lashes I used my Sophie Bella Bali lashes I will definitely leave the just leave a link to these lashes in the description box below and then I went in with a little bit of the campy eyeshadow mixed with Kai Kai, but just on with the lightest hand possible. So as you can see, there's barely any shadow. And that's kind of how I wanted it to look. I just wanted it to be a little bit of a wash. And then I went in with some lower lash mascara. And then this is the finished eye look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure that you like this video, turn your post notifications on, and subscribe to our channel if you want to be entered in future giveaways and make sure you comment done after you do those three things and yeah thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one bye